What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, as well as the S&P 500. We have to talk about the recent kind of bull trap that happened right now across most of the major cryptocurrencies. Yesterday, we attempted to break through major resistance, major price ceilings, and we didn't succeed. And that's ultimately caused a lot of these cryptos to come right back down inside the original uh, kind of fractals or technical indicators that we've been tracking for quite some time now on the channel. So we're going to go over that and look at all that in a second. You can see like Bitcoin, for example, we tried to break it. We said, if you want to buy in as an aggressive trader, wait for closure above the uh, yellow band here. And that's what we did. But we also said moderate trades are closure above the price ceiling here. And then uh, conservative ones are above the all time high level here. And you can see why I said it would be aggressive because we immediately closed below here and then fell right back down inside the sideways channel. So again, it's a bull trap, but it's not bad news because we're still inside a technical indicator. So this looks good across the board for a lot of these cryptos. Ethereum is outside, which is interesting. Um, and I don't think I can tweak that yet although we might. Uh, same thing goes with XRP. This is actually pretty funny. If you ask me, we'll talk about this as well. We immediately saw a swing up and then came right back down inside the downtrend here. This is very, very, very funny, although we still are in good positions here and we still haven't bought in yet. Same thing goes with Solana, seeing the continued consolidation here. We are going to delete this line as it is unnecessary, but we do have a lot of things to go over and I'm excited to go over all of this with you. Now, before we dive into the technical analysis, I want to give a huge shout out to Blockchain life 2024 a huge cryptocurrency event that's going to be going on very soon in dubai for sponsoring today's episode but more information about blockchain life 2024 will be later on in today's video but with that being said smash that like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's get right into it i want to give a huge shout out to blockchain life for sponsoring today's episode if you haven't heard already the upcoming blockchain life 2024 forum is taking place april 15th to 16th of this month. This highly anticipated event will be all about how to make the most of the current crypto bull run and is the 12th international forum on Web3, cryptocurrencies, and even mining. It will be held at the Festival Arena, Dubai's premier event space located in the iconic Dubai Festival City. The arena has been expanded over 7,200 square meters and promises to be a premier venue to access and reap all the benefits of the recent bull run dominating the crypto industry. The increased space will accommodate over 8,000 attendees from over 120 countries and over 150 booths from various leaders in the Web3 blockchain and even the crypto space. In simple terms, it will be a massive blockchain expo. The event will also feature over 160 speakers set to present insight into trends and expected industry shifts into the upcoming bull run and beyond. Now, the lineup is quite impressive, featuring top figures like Justin Sun, who's the founder of Tron, Rachel Conlin, the CEO CMO of Binance, Paolo Ardono, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, who's the CEO of Tether, Yatsu, co-founder of Animoca Brands, and over a hundred other speakers. Attendees representing a diverse array of stakeholders encompass 67% investors, 34% crypto traders, 31% entrepreneurs, 30% developers, 29% miners, 26% service providers, and 24% startups. Delegates from 120 countries, including US. UAE, Russia, USA, Germany, UK, India, China, Canada, and France will all be attending this event. So guys, VIP ticket holders and speakers will also have an exclusive opportunity to attend the Blockchain Life After Party, featuring a live concert by global hit makers and one of the most famous musicians on the planet, Alan Walker, who is actually pretty incredible. I've known about him for many, many, many years. VIP tickets to the Blockchain Life 2024 even allows for free access to some of the activities of the fantastic Blockchain Life Week. So guys, Guys, the event is almost here, but there is still a chance to take advantage of everything crypto and enjoy the event. Tickets are on sale now, and the longer you wait, the more expensive they will be. So make sure to check them out ASAP with the link down in the description below. Also, by using the link down below, you'll get 10% off ticket sales. So make sure to click on that link first, or you will lose the discount. Otherwise, huge shout out again for Blockchain Life for sponsoring today's episode. And let's get back into the technical analysis. So guys, moving on from 
from Blockchain Life. I want to show you guys where we pretty much started yesterday. We said, look, it's happening here. XRP Ripple holders, we are finally doing it. The pattern continues up as we are rebounding off our ascending broadening wedge within XRP, starting to reverse higher here. However, if we take a quick look at the current coin market cap, we're down about 2.5%. 75 on the Fear and Greed, uh, Greed Index. We look good. It goes, the Bitcoin halving is just 10 days away. If you're still bearish on Bitcoin, know this. Bitcoin supply exchanges at, is at a six-year low. Hong Kong is planning to approve Bitcoin ETFs. London Stock Exchange listing Bitcoin ETNs. South Korea following Bitcoin ETFs or allowing it. No one is bullish enough. But once it does, once we get mainstream media to hit, start talking about the halving, we are going to see some unprecedented highs, all-time highs within a lot of the major cryptocurrencies. And I am excited. We just saw a little blip of that over the past couple of months, and it got us up to all-time highs already. Bitcoin at 70 grand, that's absolutely absurd. So there's a lot of things to go over and talk about today. Markets are still consolidating. Toncoin up 35% for the week, but everything else is in a consolidation space. And that is okay if you ask me. Now, moving forward, we're going to look at XRP and go on from there here. You can see with XRP, like I said, we're in an ascending broadening wedge, even though um, it's a continue. Well, I, I think it's bullish still, even though it's a uh, textbook wise, it is bearish here. But you can see XRP has been in ascending fractals here or sorry, bull flag formations. We've had five consecutive consistent bull flag breakouts here and we are on number five currently here which looks good if you ask me i honestly think it's doing plenty well and we are going to continue to do plenty well because we're still inside a uh, or we're still continuing a bullish breakout here uh, you can see for xrp we've been in an uptrend we've had this beautiful uh bull flag here's the flag or here's the pole here's the flag itself falling lower here lower high lower lows and we confirmed closure above this and have now opened up into an ascending broadening wedge now we are consolidating still and you can see we did map out a resistance level that is still holding true quite literally and that's pretty surprising to me we've had this kind of resistance this price ceiling that we mapped out a couple of weeks ago back on uh, the 18th here it's currently the 10th of april and you can see we keep creating these lower highs getting rejected off this price ceiling and i made it very clear and i'll make it clear again very similar to the bitcoin charts here where we have these different levels one two three aggressive moderate conservative that's the same thing with xrp aggressive moderate conservative these are the t these are how you'll buy in i said it yesterday i'll say it again and i'll keep saying it so that I, I can get it in everyone's heads we have a clear uh downtrend here if we close above this on the daily which we attempted three times now or we're on our third attempt if we close above this we can buy in aggressive it's going to be an aggressive trade lots of risk if we close above the green band it's a moderate risk and if we close above the red band it's a conservative risk more chance of us continuing to ascend ourselves to the upside target 70 75 to 7 or to 80 cents 75 to 80 cents here um, but it all comes down to breaking through this beautiful resistance this beautiful price ceiling that we have clearly mapped out on XRP, that is the main focus uh, to pay attention to is if we can break through this. As of right now, we still look good. We've still pretty much confirmed the bottom as we are bouncing off supports here. And I strongly believe once we break through, we should be continuing to head up. I don't think we're going to be heading down. I still think this year is extremely bullish for XRP. And it's still only a matter of time that once we break through this, We'll continue our scalability back to the upside here. Now, moving forward and to cover the last couple of cryptos that we have to talk about today. Solana is still in a consolidation period. We are still filling in the gap quite nicely here. You can clearly tell we're filling this in, filling this in, filling this in. And at some point, we're going to break. We need to break one of these resistances. It's either we're going to time ourselves out, run out of time, and then have to make a decision right here, whether we breach all-time highs of 2024 or breach the floor and fall. Or we come down now, consolidate, and then kind of rebuild some sustainability and head back to the upside. Regardless, we're in a position now where we have a clearly mapped out sideways channel, a clear uh, and concise price ceiling here. Dang, I can't even draw it right here. And then a clear price floor. And this is going to be the determining factor. If we can confirm closure above this, then we'll long it. And if we close below, we'll short. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's a textbook uh, textbook charting for Solana here, which makes it very easy to confirm buy-in or shorts. Now, we were able to capitalize off Ethereum just yesterday. We got a 30% trade in, 25 to 30%. Um, as you guys saw, I posted the trade 
on the channel for you guys to reference here in regards to the swing. We bought in aggressively, so we scalped it. We knew we would continue to head up, but we knew that we'd have a resistance right here. But we moved our stop loss up just in case we breached this and started to head higher. Unfortunately, we did it. We got stopped out, but we had our stop loss high enough where we, we were able to guarantee like a 20% trade. Like We still made profit. We still did incredible. Now we're consolidating. And again, I'm still bullish on all these cryptos. I'm still a firm believer that at some point this is going to reverse up. It is going to break outwards and it's going to break upwards. And I'm going to be excited when it does happen. Same thing applies itself with Bitcoin and a lot of these other cryptocurrencies. This has fallen back inside this bull trap here. <clears throat> this is a bull trap clear as day where we, we reversed out of something that hasn't broken in a long time here. But I'm a still I'm still a firm believer that at some point we're going to confirm closure above resistance and we're going to rally up. And again, if you want to play it conservative, then wait for us to breach all time highs. Otherwise, uh, aggressive, moderate and then conservative. And it's literally that simple uh, to buy in on. And we are going to be doing so soon because on this daily chart, we're literally floating at 50 on the RSI. We're trading inside the symmetrical triangle. And very soon, we will get that decision that we're also patiently waiting for. As for the S&P, I don't know what in the world's going on here. We have just fizzled outside of this channel here, and now we're just floating sideways. And at some point, this is going to make a decision too. My thought, and it still kind of is, is a dump to the downside uh, and not actually float where we currently are. I mean, we are in a good position. We lowered ourselves from 70 down to 54 on the RSI. I'd be shocked if we headed higher up, but I low-key am waiting for a correction to the downside. That's my opinion. But with that being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.